Today, I'll be showing you how I edit um, my pictures. These pictures um, were taken from Photographing the Bride 2.0. I'm going to drop a link below where you can watch and drop a card above that you can click on and watch me photograph the bride 2.0. What I do is, after selecting my pictures, I bring it to Lightroom or Capture One. But today I'll be using just Lightroom. I have created some presets which I would um, drop a link below where you can download the preset. I have Soft Light 1 and I have Soft Light 2. So we're going to try Soft Light 1. Now this Soft Light 1, this is how it looks like with just one click. Um, let me see Soft Light 2. Okay, so the basic difference between Soft Light 1 and Soft Light 2 is just like some minor um, adjustment. Soft Light 2.0, it's um, Soft Light 2.1 gives a little bit of um, greenish feel, not really as with the one here. This gives a little bit of um, reddish feel to the skin tone. But this is like greenish. So I think I like the reddish. It looks warm um, and popping. So I'll go with the first one. Now what I'll do next is that, as you can see, um, this is, uh, let me show you before and after. So this is uh, the before. Um, apply this and this is the after. I'm going to try to make sure I work on the the gown. We'll have a lot of highlights. So I'll just come over here and I'll use the linear gradient and I'll drag it up a little bit this way. Then I'll kill the highlight. So this is, you can see this before, like this is the after. Now this looks a little bit better. This is better for me. Then I'm good. So um, this is before and that's the after. As you can see, it's really amazing. Next is I'll right click and I'll click um, editing Adobe Photoshop 2023. Now uh, you can actually export this file, go to file, export. You can export the file and put it somewhere and open it in Photoshop. Anyway, it works. For me, I'll just right click and go to edit in, edit in Photoshop 2023. Click on that, um, dash load. Yes, perfect. So this uh the image in Photoshop. The first thing I will do is I will just quickly um clean the structures that I don't want on her skin. The model Kira, she has like a good skin. Just clean up quickly. Yeah. It's nice. The next thing I will do is uh I will try to work on her skin tone. Now, there are many ways of doing this, you could do skin separation, a lot of ways of doing this. So I wouldn't want to waste your time. I'll just take a quick on how to quickly just get it done with. Next, we'll go to Flame Retouching. Now, Flame Retouching has some free um, actions online you can download and use. Play button. Okay. I would choose um, a quick one. Let's say 10. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Continue. Come over here, hit this, okay. Now, I'm going to blow. Quickly, just blow. He's here, just select this way. Filter, blow, cushion blow, 10. Okay, I'm good with this. Just adding cushion blow to areas I want blood out. This is good. Here's the face. Come over here. Trying this one here. Here, try this. I'm just doing a quick um, one to show you how I quickly retouch um, the pictures. Gaussian blow. And this, I'm done with Gaussian blow. Now I'll try and use the mixer brush just to mix up things. Got the mixer brush. Then this is my settings up here. Um, this is my settings up here. You can just copy my settings or the voice settings that works for you. Yeah. 
any swap this was mix this And just working on the skin tone quickly. Just quickly work on it and just mix it up. It's just a, a quick one and before after it's just a quick um quick retouching you could actually just adjust some stuff here with um dodge and bone if you if you want to just adjust quickly with dodge and bone this is you can see this is before this is after and what's called like the next so this is like where i start from i try to balance this up So this is the before and this is the after. Next thing is what do the jambon? But it all depends on you. For me, I might not really do the jambon. I might just let this go this way. So let me introduce you to one of my amazing plugins that I use, Delicious Skin. Here I can smoothen the skin some more by using Delicious Skin. It has free separation, it has the jambon. It's an amazing plugin that I use. If you have the body, you can go ahead and get it. So here I'll just quickly do a quick the jambon and share it looks like. So this is a uh, the jambon, click on it. You can see this is like an aid. So for the jambon, I'm going to try to um darken where it's um, bright and brighten where it's dark. Just a quick one quickly, I'll show you how it works. So I come here and go just make it darken it. So let me go with this first, the dodge. Just work on this place quickly. This side, this side, this just just quick ones, just showing you what I do. Okay, this quickly. Uh, just quick ones there. Yeah. So on the dax just quick ones. And you can also use this for um your cutting and highlighting. So you can just make it work that way. Just put this one here quickly. Oh, this one here. So this is it, so you can see the difference. Uh, let's look at it. You can see um, here I was able to use the the bond tool, and here the dodge tool. Now look at that difference. Yeah, so this is actually okay. It depends on you if you want to actually do more or do less. But for me, I want to just deliver good pictures and I'm good. So let me show you the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. Before after, amazingly good. The next thing is uh, I'll try to add by lot. I have a lot I created just to give that little bit of feel. Um, color look up, show you how my lots work. Okay, so I have it um documents um at this lots. Earthly. Yes, so this is so I have it called the movie look contrast. And this is it. Just a pasty in a bit to give it that cinematic kind of feel. Before after. And let's like. Yeah, and you can actually go ahead and uh, make some adjustments with um, your color balance if you want to adjust some few things. Remember, it's all yours to do. Just create what works for you. And yeah, good. So I just put this as just like minus four. You know, minus two should work. Change to C. Okay, minus two should work. Oh, this. Oh, change. Let's put this a bit yellow. Okay, so let me show you too. This is just slight difference. Now, what this you can see is a little bit um, greenish, add a little bit of um, green into it to give it that cinematic feel. 
and that's it. So basically, I'm done. This is the before, this after. Basically, I'm done. Now, remember, it all depends on you to make it work. This is just a quick retouching for my portraits. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.